Hey, what's going on everybody? Senor Spicy here, back with another Pirate 101 video for you guys today. So, there's a new bundle out for Pirate 101 and Wizard 101, the Floating Lands Resort Bundle. We're of course only going to be going over the Pirate 101 contents of it. And let's get right into what is in this new $40 bundle. So, if we check out the Pirate 101 website, you can see here exclusively um, through the GameStop website. You can see here the Floating Lands Resort Bundle just came out today on May 7th, uh, 2024. So you get the Floating Lands Resort, the Outrigger Canoe Pet, the Pineapple Pal Pet, as well as an additional house, house elixir for Pirate 101. And then obviously for Wizard 101, you get all of that as well as the new beachwear outfit, as well as this new smoothie weapon. So obviously this bundle is really meant for Wizard 101, but it comes with some stuff for Pirate. Um, so if you really just want this bundle for Pirate 101, I really do not recommend you buy it. It is not worth the $40 um, because you get no gear, you get no weapon, you get no companion, you get a house, a mount, and a, and a pet for 40 bucks for Pirate 101. So, um, and obviously like membership or crowns. Um, but we're gonna go over the contents. I bought it so that you guys don't have to. We're gonna we're gonna go over the the house, do a little house tour, quickly look at the pet and, and whatnot. So first thing I want to do is is look at that pet right here. Um, shout out to the Atmoplex for um, this uh, this post here. So obviously this is what it looks like. I mean, as far as looks go, it's a cool looking pet. I got I got no hate for it, but uh, it is it is a base pet. So obviously you. For it to be good, you gotta morph, you gotta morph with other good pets and and, and hopefully uh, get it up. But uh, as far as its pool starting pool goes, nothing really crazy about it. It's not like there's anything new. Um, steady speech, rouse, nothing good in here. Charming gaze, so nothing really exciting in its actual uh, base pool. Um, but uh, let's actually get into redeeming the contents on my pirate here. So I'm going to redeem it on my Buccaneer, because why not? So you can see here we have the Pineapple Pal, we have the um, Outrigger Canoe, and the it's called the Water Mole Tropical Resort, as well as a additional house elixir. So I guess I'll accept that, because uh, it doesn't really matter. But let's redeem this pet real quick here. So we get a Mysterious Egg. Let's redeem the mount as well, and then also the house. So let's go check out this mount real quick. See if the mount at least looks uh, looks cool. Um, which I think it might. I think it does look not too bad. But uh, see if my slow computer wants to behave today. All right, let's get away from these mobs. And check out this new mount here. All right, so the Outrigger Canoe. Now, one thing I do like about it is that there is the pet right there on it. So let's take a look. So here it is. Wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, all right. It is. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It, it kind of sucks that, like, Pirate 101 doesn't allow for multi, like, person mounts. Because, obviously, this mount looks like it could hold another two pirates in it. But, sadly, you can only just have your pirate in it. I'm not sure if it's a multi-person uh, mounted wizard. It might be. But, um, yeah. As far as it, it, the looks go, I think it looks pretty solid. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what this part of it is. I really don't know. I thought these are these like supposed to be rowers? I don't know. Maybe that's just to help it float. I actually have no clue what this part of the the boat is. I might just be uncultured, and it might be something that that's like obvious. But if you guys know, definitely let me know. Um, but well, actually, he has an oar in his hand, so I guess they're definitely not oars. But I love that the little pet is on the front. I absolutely love that. That's the best part of the the whole the whole uh, mount here jump animation it makes like little oh 
It makes like little squeaking noises. Um, and this is the moving of it. So, yeah, it looks pretty solid. Um, I like I like the mount. I do like the mount. It's definitely probably <laughs> it's, it's probably the best part about this whole bundle. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and also what I like about this mount is that your weapon actually shows. Some mounts just like get rid of your weapon, so I like that my my weapon still does show. But uh, yeah, very uh, very solid mount, I'd say. So let's go equip the new house and go do a little bit of a house tour. And I'm going to go to houses here. So we're going to equip the new water mole tropical resort. And we're going to go head on over there. Okay. And we'll do a little bit of a house tour for this new water mole tropical resort here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. Well, the interesting thing is our ship is just right here. Um, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> our ship is just right here, which you don't see that ever in Pirate 101, which is pretty cool. Um, wow, interesting. And you have this nice background, all this water. Endless sea, got the sunset going on. So, I guess you can just board your ship? So you can just board your ship on here. Um, which is cool. So whatever ship you have equipped, you can just hop on it. I will say, as far as the aesthetic goes, it looks really nice. I don't know what's clipping through this right now. I don't know what that is, but there's something clipping through. <laughs> Um, there's a little mini island out there. Um, but you can't, uh, obviously you can't actually, uh, sail your ship. You can go into your cabin. Interesting. Very interesting. And then, are these part of the ship? I don't even know. These, I don't think these, I think these are new. I don't think these are a part of the ship. These plants? So, um, very interesting. It has my flag and everything. I'm not going to go into my cabin because I don't have, any, have anything cool in my cabin. But, uh, very interesting. Let me see what happens um, when I try to change the ship that I'm using. So let's try the, the Mushu one. Okay. Yeah, and then it just unbottles that. Very cool. So instead of like a shipyard, it kind of just has its own single dock, which is very cool. And then of course you can just board this one as well. Right? Yep. You can just board this one as well. Maybe those plants are part of it. I'm just dumb. I never realized. But uh, yeah, I mean that's cool. I like that. Like I like this aspect of it for sure. I definitely like this aspect. So now that our pet has hatched, Let's go just quickly look at it. Um, so Admiral Roscoe over here, looking like an absolute champ, having a, a great time. Hatchling Pineapple Pal. Uh, let me equip him real quick and get off my mount. I also have my follower set to my pet. It's somewhere. Follower, follower is my pet. So here we go, little Admiral Roscoe here and his tiny legs. Uh, looking like an absolute chad over there. I like him a lot. Very cool pet. I love his little legs when he runs. I gotta say that. Look at his little legs. <laughs> That's the best part. Look at him run. Wow. That's amazing. Um, all right then. <laughs> Um, let's get back on our mount, and let's go explore this this new house real quick. So, very cool. I wonder if your friends' ships will uh, 
also appear here if they port to you. I doubt it, but that'd be interesting to see if if your friend or if, if somebody ports to you and they unbottle their ship. I wonder if there's like additional spots. But um, yeah, so here we are. We have all this outside uh, room that you can place stuff down, right? Yeah, very cool. So it is like a its own little tropical resort. Now this is awesome. We got a little tiki bar here. Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. My ship's going through. <laughs> is it over here? What do we collect? Oh, gold. Okay. And I'm assuming that's a once a day thing. Yeah. Okay. So this looks like it has its 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 once a day collect thing. If you don't know the the Smuggler's Cove house also has a has a feature like this. And I think it might also give you script, as well as some other little things. So I believe it should be a 24-hour cooldown. You can just come here and visit this guy. But it looks like he's got some, like, yum drinks and stuff. Very cool. He's standing on a little crate because he's short. Um, very cool. Okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. We got some nice, uh, some nice shrubbery over here. Nice flowers. And this, of course, is the front of the house. Looks nice. I like it. Those doors look a bit tiny. Go around this side. Check if we can go through here. Nope, we can't. Oh wow, that looks like a big space outside. All right, so let's let's go to uh, let's go explore the inside first. Mm -mm. See what's in store for us. Oh wow, look at this. Big, uh, grandiose uh, entrance here. Very cool. Very cool. So I got these cool, like, I don't know what those are. Big balls. <laughs> Big ornaments hanging from the from the ceiling. And then you got a picture of Mormo here. Look at Mormo over there. Fully promoted Mormo uh, water fountain. Very cool. I like it. I like it. There's a chest over here. I'm assuming this is just, uh... Oh, never mind. I thought that would, like, access our bank, but it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, I like it. I like the ground. I like it. I like the, the tall ceilings. We have this big room over here. And this is just its own big room. Very high ceilings. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. So... We have that, which probably leads to that back uh, giant courtyard. Let's go up here. Okay, so we have another little room here. All right. Another room here. Okay. This layout reminds me of... Uh, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if you guys have ever played Assassin's Creed 2, but uh, the, the villa at uh, Monterigioni reminds me a lot of the layout from, from Monterigioni. Like the two staircases leading up this so um so it looks like it it really is kind of just like a a hotel kind of resort sort of vibe um oh that has a door okay we'll check that out all right another room and it looks like all of these are just going to be the same um so nothing really special about these just open spaces for for i guess like bedrooms and, and stuff like that um, so, actually, let's go out to, uh, to that door over here. Probably gonna be lead to, like, a, like, a patio space or something like that. But we'll check it out real quick. I like the lights. That's nice. And, uh, the wallpaper and stuff is nice. Oh, what in the world? Wow, I mean, this might be the weirdest, uh, patio I think I've ever seen ever. Wow. Um, uh, okay. I mean, great sight, but very, very strange. Um, there's just like a, a patio here. Very strange. Not a lot of room. But, uh, I guess you can do what you can with this roofing. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Alright. So, that seems to be the inside. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, let's go downstairs. See if I'm missing anything. Um, check over here, maybe. Long hallway. Oh, okay, so here's the PvP 
spot. Which, actually, this looks like it could... Well, it's still not a big arena, but it looks like it's bigger than... Than, you know, than most of the houses. Um, it looks like it's bigger than most of the houses' spots. Which is nice, because usually the houses are really uh, small. But, uh, yeah. Okay. And that, I think that's it for the inside. Which, I'm not going to lie, is uh, kind of disappointing. Um, I get it's a, like a resort and whatnot, but very disappointing. <laughs> not going to lie. As far as uh, the inside goes. And my game is being very slow today, sorry. But uh, what's not disappointing is this big, giant courtyard. My goodness, why is the PvP arena not out here? My goodness. Look at this. Look at this giant space out here. So, I guess this is just all free space for you to do whatever you want. Place whatever you place whatever you want out here. Giant patio space. Um, so you have a little like cabana thing over here, and there's like a nice little river, a couple rivers, or maybe that's just one. One big river flowing through the back. It looks great. The scenery, the outside is amazing. Gotta say. Um, and here. Oh, you can actually go and oh. Okay, so this is definitely an outside themed house. But my goodness, look at the look at the roofing on that. So wonky looking, but very interesting. And another little cabana over here. So before I explore this outside over here, I just want to check um, what was around this area. So let's just go through the house real quick, cut through, check uh, what's on the other side over there. Probably is just going to lead to that river. But um, don't want to miss anything. But yeah, this is definitely an outdoors-themed uh, house. But uh, yeah, let's check over here. There's a little rowboat over here. And it's like the same as the mount. Very interesting. Two paddles on it. Very interesting. Can I not take it? Oh, oh I can! Oh, wow, very cool. Okay, and then it takes you to this little island over here. Very nice. Okay. Not a lot of space on this island, but uh, it does take you out to it. You can't go behind this rock, so very little space. I guess you just you just force yourself onto it, and it'll port you uh, here. All right, interesting. I like this aspect. Let me... Okay, there we go. Very strange. Um, little rocky area over here. All right, I like that. I mean, that could be bigger, that space, but it's all right. And then this should just lead us to the river, I think. Nice little um, walk, walk, walking path, I guess, whatever you want to call it through here. And then it just leads to this river as well. Very cool. Can I not walk up this? Huh. It looks like I can't walk up this. Huh. Very interesting. So you can only go on this water. Oh, but you have this. Okay. Very strange. Very strange. Okay. Can I walk up this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> So it's kind of like this big lazy river thing, which is cool. Um, and then, of course, this leads us back over here. Can I cut through here? Nope. Okay, so <laughs> you're forced to, to use the river. I'm forced to paddle my boat in the river. <laughs> All right, then. 
but yeah, as far as like the scenery goes, it's very nice. Definitely, uh, if you want a good outdoors uh, house. Okay, again with this weird. Okay, you got you got to use these little dock things, little platforms. Um, another little space over there. So it's kind of like kind of like a lazy river. You can kind of like decorate this whole lazy river. Um, however you'd like. Got a big archway over here. Leading out. Very nice. Big archway. Another platform. Alright, now the moment of truth. Is there a secret thing behind this waterfall? It'd be very King's Isle-esque for there to be a secret area past this waterfall, so let's go and check. Oh, come on, really? Oh. Well, that's that's disappointing. There's like a little rainbow thing shining through it, too. I really thought that you could go through this waterfall. But uh, I guess you can't. Um... But yeah, very cool looking waterfall. Got some weird light over there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But, um... More spacing out here. So... Alright. And I think that should be... It. Is that a plot? You can't go up that, right? Nope. And I think that's really it. I think that's the house. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. So, um, I think that's going to be it for this. Um, but yeah, like I said, pet, mount, bundle, housing elixir is all you get for pirate. Um, as far as this house goes, my overall thoughts, it's nice. The outside scenery is very nice. The inside is very disappointing. I think they could have made it much bigger, much more interesting. Um, there's not really anything crazy, interesting, unique, like, about the house. I mean, you have the nice, like, tiki bar, 24-hour, uh, cool-down redeem thing, which is, is cool and whatnot. Um, a lot of open space, which is, which is nice to some people. This little island feature is nice, but it's so tiny. Um, but, uh, overall, a very, very scenic, beautiful, out outdoorsy house, but, um... Yeah, I wish the inside was a little bit bigger. The outside courtyard would be very nice. I'm not sure why they didn't decide to put the PvP spot in one of these giant open areas. I mean, you have all these open areas, and they decided to, like, stuff the PvP room in, like, the tiny nothing space. But, uh, whatever. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. As, uh, as far as it goes, I really don't recommend you buy this bundle if you want it just for the Pirate 101 stuff. It's, uh, it's really not worth it. The mount is cool and all, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't recommend you spending $40 for this bundle, um, for the Pyro 101 stuff. Hopefully, maybe they'll, they'll give, uh, you know, the weapon and some gear, um, to the Pyro 101 side of this bundle, so that we can actually get our money's worth. But, uh, yeah. Overall, uh, I don't know. 6 out of 10 bundle? 5 out of 10, something like that. I like the mount. The pet's cute. Um, but, uh, and, and the house is, 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 is nice, but just no gear. No gear, no weapon, so overall pretty mid. Um, but uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this bundle. Uh, let me know if the Wizard 101 stuff for it is good. Let me know if this is a good bundle for Wizard, because I, I don't play Wiz, so I don't know about the gear. But uh, definitely let me know. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to join my Discord server if you haven't. Definitely check out my Twitch channel. I stream almost every single day playing Pirate 101. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!